down, everyone. We had a major comeback uh, from the Miami Dolphins beating the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, they were down 28 to 7 at one point, uh, and then 35 to 14 at another point. Looked like Baltimore was absolutely dominating. Uh, they were up 35 to 14 with 26 seconds left in the third quarter, and just it was all the Miami Dolphins in the fourth. I mean, they they end up coming back. Uh, they end up tying the game at 35. Uh, Baltimore goes, gets a field goal with like two and a half minutes left. Miami goes down, score a touchdown, go up, and the game was pretty much over. There's 14 seconds left. Baltimore tries to throw a Hail Mary, and this was just, this was rough. Now, Lamar Jackson played very well. I give him a lot of credit. You know, he was 21-29, 318 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions, uh, which is huge, right? He's been doing a great job of taking care of the ball because that's been one of the biggest knocks on Lamar Jackson is the turnovers where, you know, on the other side with Miami, they had a couple turnovers. Uh, Tua played really great too. I mean, he was 36 of 50, 469 yards, six touchdown passes, but he threw two interceptions. Uh, still, nonetheless, they got the job done. But this was this was a showdown, for real. This was an absolute showdown between these two young quarterbacks, and Tua was able to pull it out. Tua was able to beat Lamar. And, you know, the defense couldn't stop him in that fourth quarter, and you got to give him a lot of credit. Uh, but this was absolutely a game the Ravens should have won. Like, you can't lose these games. You really can't. And, look, I don't knock Lamar in any way. I mean, he did his job. He was scoring. But, you know, you got to get something going. You know, you gotta, you gotta. If you're, if you're the Ravens, you gotta put the ball in his hands, have him make a play. You know, my problem is you see this a lot in professional football, even college too. Like teams will get this lead, and instead of playing to just play to get you there, you know, they they try to just play it out. They try to just, you know, let's just eat the clock. And it happens a lot that you know teams will end up. Coming back. I understand if there's, you know, there's two minutes left, four point game or something like that. You know, you're just trying to kill as much clock and then trust the defense for for a drive. That I understand. But when you're up several points or several touchdowns, you know that the other team really has to make a go at it. And I understand you don't want to make a play that ends up, you know, you throw a pick six and now they're right back into the game or something like that. I do understand that. You want to be smart, you want to be protected. But you see it a lot where it's like, at what point do you start switching back on the offense? At what point do you say, okay, like we need to, we need to get things rolling again here. Cause they're, they're making a push, you know? And I just, that was a big problem. And Miami just continued to stay with it, continued to play their game, continued to get it done. And they ended up pulling off the win and it was huge. That was, that was a tough loss and a really bad one for the Ravens. Uh, this is a game that they absolutely should have won. This is a game that they should have, like, you know, you give you give up a backdoor touchdown or something, like, okay, I get it, you know, or, you know, maybe you give up two backdoor touchdowns, okay, I get it. But to actually lose the game when you're up 38 to 14, basically just the fourth quarter left to go, that's, that's, yeah, you can't lose that game. And you're at home, like, on top of that. You know, you're in Baltimore. That's this is a game that there's just there's no excuse. You can't lose this game up 38 to 14. You know, like it's just you, the game should be over. You you're up 24 points. You know, and you and you give up. You know, you there's 30, you know, it's 35 to 14. I'm and then they come back and they score. You know, you give you give up 21 unanswered points to tie the game at 35. You go and kick the field goal, take the lead, and it's just... But at that point, again, you lost all the momentum. You gave up four touchdowns in that fourth quarter. They scored... Dolphins scored 28 points in that fourth quarter. That's insane. I mean, to be fair, Ravens scored 21 in the second, but still, you didn't win the game. You gave up four touchdowns in the final quarter and allowed them to come back and as soon as they tied that game, it was over. Unless they, unless Baltimore got a touchdown, you knew that game was over because they lost all the momentum. Miami was riding that high. We're back. We oh, 
whatever they do, don't score to don't let them score a touchdown. You know that was the huddle. Don't let them score a touchdown. Do whatever you have to. You know, keep them to a field goal. We got the momentum. We'll go get seven. Let's do this. And they got the stop, get the field goal, and rest is history. And now Miami, they get the W. They chilling. They, you know, they 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 get to go home right in that high. And they start two and zero. Oh. And this team looks this team looks very solid. You know, I, I don't think that they're like a legit contender or anything like that. Um, I don't think they're gonna be that great. Uh, but this team could could make some noise. Miami could really make some noise. If I'm not mistaken, I, th- I believe they have a bo- oh no, they play the Bills next week. Um, and then uh, and then week four, they play uh, the Bengals on the road. So Bills, they're at home, you know. So it, it, can can they get that? Can they get that W? I mean, I think the Bills are probably the best team. I think the Bills personally win the win the Super Bowl this year. I could be completely wrong. It's just like my guess. And look, I'm not a Bills fan. I just think that they they got everything they needed, and they're really good. Um, but nonetheless, I I do. I, if Miami could pull off that win against the Bills week three, and then uh, you know end up uh, beating the Bengals, like Bengals are going to be tough on the road. But then after that, it's pretty easy. I mean, you got the Jets. Um, so I mean. They could easily start four and zero, something like that, which would be which would be crazy, It'd be crazy to think of, you know. But again, I'm I mean I have no dog in the fight. I just it was just something that I, I think is interesting. I just yeah, it's pretty. Uh, it was pretty uh, crazy, it's quite the comeback, uh, for sure. But anyway, as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. What do you think? What did you think of this game? What did you think of the situation? Do you think that yeah, this was a, a terrible loss? Do you think that this was a terrible loss for the Ravens? Do you think, yeah, you're right. This is a game that you cannot lose, especially at home. Again, like, you're up 35-14. to 14. The game was yours. You win that game. You win that game. And you let them come back and you lost. It's just crazy to me. It's crazy that they actually lost that game. Uh, you know, it's just... And, that, and that's the problem. That's the big question. That's why, you know, I again, I do understand... You know, you don't want to, you have the lead, you don't want to end up doing too much, but you see it so much, especially in college, college especially, you see big leads and stuff like that get lost all the time. Not so much in the pros, but still, like, you know, like, again, I understand you're up for something like that. You're just trying to, you're trying to kill as much clock and, and get this game. But like, you still, like when they scored that touchdown, you still had, you know, a whole quarter left. Like, do what is do what you need to to put yourself in a position to to keep carrying. I understand, like you know, you're you, you're looking at it as like, oh, we're in a blowout at the moment, but still, like you never know, you never know. And look what happens. It's just you see it so much. You see these teams, they just they just stop. They just stop doing what made them successful. I'm not saying in every circumstance, but you know, when there's like 13 minutes left in the game. You, and even though you're up three touchdowns, you should probably still, you know, because you never know. All of a sudden, a couple three and outs, a couple stops. Look, now now look, now you're in trouble, you know? And, I mean, this is, this is going to be a big year for Lamar. Like, that's another thing, too, that needs to be talked about. Because he still doesn't have a contract. He's still playing for one. And earlier, in like the second and third quarter, everyone was talking about, oh, the Ravens, see, this is why you pay Lamar. Everyone spoke too soon. Everyone got too high, got too excited. And, you know, and again, I'm not blaming Lamar for this loss. It wasn't his loss. But still, like, it it represents the team. It's like, you know, that's the whole image. It's the whole look. It's the defense, the offense, the coaching. It's, this falls on everybody, on everybody. Um, But, yeah, I don't know. Hopefully this team, they get the bounce back. Hopefully, you know, they can they can get it. My concern is like, you know, if for, I'm not saying that this will happen, and I, I don't want to overreact over this whole situation. You know, I don't. But this was again, it's you don't want to lose games that you're supposed to win. You know, that that's something you don't want to do. But what happens if the Ravens don't make the playoffs? Like, do they do they really throw Lamar Jackson two hundred and fifty million dollars when they are already concerned with giving him the money already? 
You know, do they really want to commit that much money when they look at the at the entire team as a problem? It's just a thought. I mean, the Ravens play the Patriots next week in New England. They have to win that game. Like, they have to. They cannot afford to lose that game at all. Um, so, I don't know. It's just it's just a thought. Again, it's just a thought. Because, you know, if they start, say, 1-2, and two, and they lose to New England next week, then they have to go and play the Bills. And if the Bills are really as good as they seem to be, then Baltimore could easily be on the outside looking in very quickly here. Um, so it's just, again, not saying it'll happen. Not saying anything. You know, maybe they beat the sweep the board the next the rest of the way. You know, maybe they beat the you know the Bills, the Bengals, and the and the Patriots in the next three games. I mean, it very well could be, and then all all is forgiven. But you can't lose those games that you're supposed to win. But anyway, let me know down in. The that being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.